Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Beautiful people, welcome to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. We have about three news to render. We're going to quickly wrap them all into one very quickly. Let's start with what uh, Peter Obi said and what Nigerians are saying generally over the just concluded Osho elections where Labour Party came out with 2,729 votes in Osho. Of course, uh, Peter Obi reacted to that and these were some of the things he said. Take homes for a lot of critics who believe that. Um, Peter Opi goes nowhere when it comes to the issue of presidency. Then, of course, Adamu himself, uh, the APC national chairman, have decided to not only compliment um, Peter Opi, have decided also never to underestimate him, judging by his seriously increasing uh, popularity. And then the last one, Peter Opi have been told, or a lot of Nigerians have been warned against always picking up Peter Opi and castigating him. They believe that Peter Obi is not actually ordinary, that there are actually some strong spiritual forces that is backing and supporting him. And these are the reasons they gave. I'm going to wrap up all these three into one very quickly. Let us start with the very first one of what Peter Obi said in Oshun State. Well, according to the news, the presidential candidate of uh, the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, has taken to his official social media handle to reply to shading Labour Party for having just 2,000 plus votes in just concluded a gubernatorial election in Osho State. In his bid to congratulate the governor elect of Ogun State, Osho State, rather, Senator Demola Adeleke, Peter Obi also noted that it is important for those lambasting the Labour Party for, for scoring a poor number of votes to know that the Labour Party movement is just one month old let me quote him word for word i extend my woman's personal congratulations to senator demola deleke on winning the osho state gubernatorial elections i also congratulate the candidate of our nigerian labor party right honorable last last song sulaiman yusuf and his running mate adeola adekunle at atanda for a hard fought battle and their spirit of resolve and sportsmanship despite the outcome. To the obedient movement family and our supporters nationwide, the outcome of this particular election is not a verdict on our exponentially growing strength nationwide, especially when viewed against the fact that we are barely one month old in the party and we had to contend with forces that have been enshrined in the state for the last two decades. However, within the very short period of only a few weeks the labor party has made its presence and political impact felt nationally we must threaten our collective resolve not to relent in a noble march to take back our country much work remains to be done hence we must focus the totality of our effort now on the forthcoming 2023 general elections in the full in the fullness of time our message of rescue and recover will resonate throughout the length and breadth of the nation and most Nigerians, Nigerian electorate will buy in into our mission to take back Nigeria for the purpose of rescuing it from continuous decline, shift the national psyche from consumption to production, and from sharing dwindling resources to creating wealth and frontally combating poverty. PO says, and of course, Adamu himself, that's the national, national, APC national leader, APC national uh, chairman, has this to say. Well, the National Chairman of the All Progressive uh, Congress, APC Adamu Abdullahi, has stated that Peter Obi, Labour Party presidential candidate, means well for the country, stating that he will not underestimate him. Report has it that APC National Chairman stated that while Peter Obi was governor of Anambra State, he visits him and knows of his leadership track record. Adamu said Atiko Abubakar, presidential candidate of the opposition people's the Democratic Party PDP also had qualities and capacity of the 2023 general elections. Senator Damu, who stated this in an Arise TV program, said he was, however, more confident that his party, the All Progressive Congress APC, will come out victorious in the 2023 general elections because they are all well organized and have a high number of followership. The national chairman of APC, Adamu Fala, said that the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party. IU and the Labour Party's presidential candidate Peter Obi as people who are well-grounded and well, uh, means well for the country. 
in Senator Damon's words, and I quote him, Honestly, I have never, never ever underestimated the capacity of my opponent. I will not do so now. This is not the first time I will be party chairman. I have been secretary of the party. I have been a chairman of the party at the state level. I have, fa I have faced elections. I have won some and I have lost some. I have no reason whatsoever to doubt my opponent. The gentleman who is a chairman of PDP is my friend. We have known each other. We have known even before we got these positions. Peter B, I knew him when he was governor of Anambra State. I visited him. These are people who mean well as far as I'm concerned. From the ad boys, they mean well. They are well grounded. I don't have doubt about that. So I have no reason whatsoever to underestimate their ability to lead the people to victory. Speaking on why his party, the ruling APC stands a better chance than the opposition party, that's P PDP, and Peter Obis Labour Party Senator Damu uh, Abdullahi, APC National Chairman, said, and I quote him, I'm telling you that we are better organized. We have a higher number of followership. We have got the register of members of the party. You can verify that. These other parties don't have. I don't contemplate any situation that will make us not win the election in 2023. All right, because of time, we may not be able to take the third one. The third one is quite a big one. But I can assure you, by the grace of God, the very next upload, you're going to get exactly why people believe, or even people around the world believe, Peter Obi is not ordinary. And they give reasons for that. Uh, keep with it with us. We're going to give you updates on that. But very quickly on this whole thing, Peter Obi is trying to shut down the mouth of critics because they'll be shouting and screaming. Even the likes of the Jade Anju, uh, the likes of um, Reno Okru mocked them to scorn that ordinary that people are getting 100 and something, 200, 300. That they even carried, that even an unknown name carried, I think ADC carried third position. And lastly, he could not even carry anything reasonable other than a mere 2,000 plus votes. A bit of have said it looks to count there are many blessings named them one after the other. So look, these people you are dragging through that with doing as if it's a battle of the fittest. It's just a one, it's just an, a month old party. You're not ashamed that you are dragging party with somebody who just one month into the whole system. You have been there grinded from a station of democracy. Are you not ashamed that you're busy shouting and mocking? Shouldn't you even be scared? That the party that was just you know, recently uh, assembled for just one month before the election and was able to get 2,000. Imagine if it was grounded about two years before the election and he does his homework very well, he does his um, whole uh, activities, awareness program and all that. Don't you think it would have given them the run for their money? That's a question to answer. Then again, Adamu, looking at the situation of ground, have told himself, that say, look, forget the fact that we are playing politics. The likes of Labour Party, Peter Obi, is a very good hand. He has the capacity to lead this country when given the chance. But being that we are old-time party guys, we have a lot of antecedent and followership, we always does them. We still have about six to nine months to go, six months to go. It's, still, it's a big time, it's a very short time. But if it's the will of the people and the will of God that Peter Obi sits on that seat, it doesn't matter the long longevity of time. All it takes is the willpower of the people. I don't deliver him. That's what gonna wrap it up. Let's meet in the comment section.